guys this is Galac here again for a rated Galac of the day I know it's been a little bit for one of these but we got some big fucking news guys for all you horror fans or slasher fans like Galac here one of the goats is on his way back Matt Cordell from the Maniac Cop series is returning not necessarily in the film sense but it's going to be on HBO TV um, Nicholas Winding Refn, um, who back in 2016 was talking about remaking or rebooting the franchise, but with all that police brutality bullshit that was going on, uh, probably wasn't going to be the greatest idea. Let's make a movie called Maniac Cop, where a cop is killing innocent people, hence reality. Um, definitely definitely would have been a good idea, but I'm um, not going to say that it's winded down, but it doesn't seem to be... Uh, mainstream media anymore which is sad because it's still a problem nothing's been resolved but I'm not getting into that right now the point is is Maniac Cop is returning now for you guys who don't know anything about Nicholas Winding Refn he's made some pretty decent movies I mean I like his style it is a tad bit dark, you know, which is really good. I don't know if you've seen Place Behind the Pines or Only God Forgives or even Drive um, with uh, Ryan Gosling. One of my personal favorites is Bronson. Um, that movie was awesome, but it was very brutal. So with the original series of Maniac Cop, Matt Cordell brutally murdered a lot of people. So you can expect this to be just as brutal or if not worse based off of what we've seen from HBO series like Game of Thrones. It can get pretty fucking gritty. Um, so, man, I'm super excited, man. I mean, we haven't had Maniac Cop since uh, 1993. I've been waiting for some more Maniac Cop. Uh, I have a bit of a closure problem, uh, personally. Um, so the ending of Maniac Cop 3 where his hand uh, comes from underneath the sheet and ends up putting it on the other dead body's hand and the coroner um, hears the crackle of the fingers because he was burnt up, turns around and looks and we get no more Maniac Cop since 1993? Yeah, I need some closure people. Um, even though this is a reboot, that's fine, but retell the story and do it how you want but i've been waiting i have been winning lately guys everything that i've ever liked from back when i was a child is still here or resurfacing um michael myers i mean you know michael myers is arguably my favorite slasher of all time i would probably say he is um you know not necessarily the franchise as a whole but um his character is my favorite and you know i hadn't had any legitimate michael myers for 10 years you know since rob zombies you know 2009 which no disrespect to you zombie but your halloween set or halloween in 07 was great and then the one in 09 you had all the halloween fans fucked up in my opinion but uh, that's nor here nor there um but after 10 years you know i get you know, Halloween 2018, which was probably my second favorite Halloween within the franchise, next to Halloween 4, the greatest movie of all time. And then um, we just get notification, you know, not too long ago that we're getting Halloween kills in 2020 and then Halloween ends in 2021. So that's great. Um, I'm a ridiculous Dragon Ball fan and Broly being one of my favorite characters of all time. Uh, got a movie that came out in the beginning of 2019 that was great um, the Undertaker I'm a wrestling fan he's still wrestling you know and now after years from 1993 to now I'm getting Matt Cordell back this is just this is amazing for me guys um, big news um, 
I think this is going to lead me into making a video here in the near future on the Maniac Cop series 1, 2, and 3. So if you guys have not seen it, um, I can give you guys a fun review on it. So expect that from Igle Heart Podcast uh, here in the near future. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, just keep an eye out if there's any more news that drops on what's going to happen here um, with Maniac Cop, the HBO TV series. I will definitely be updating you. Um, until next time, uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification button for all future content. And I Go Heart Podcast will have some more shit for you to talk about. Peace.